I'm here from the cross stitch cupboard. I'm actually here. Well, I come here every once in a while. And I'm also I'm here to uh, take a class, little get together kind of thing with uh, Jean Farish, and she has brought some absolutely beautiful yeah. models. So I figured we'll just uh, take a look around the store, see what the new displays are like, and then I'll show you the models. Um, right now, the major displays are St. Patty's Day and Valentine's Day. So let me show you some of these gorgeous models um, and, and see what we got. What is this? It looks so familiar to me. I don't know. Let's see. It's by you and I are friends. I believe I actually have that kit. <laughs> and I'm just going to talk about the more interesting ones. It looks like that O is missing from Love. I don't know what these are. These are by Needle Bling Designs. The letters. That's pretty cool. I think that's by Did you find it, Kat, you Fancy have? That. Well, I'm still holding on to um, this, this is bag. so adorable. Look how cute this one is. This is by Madame Chantilly. And let's see what else we got. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, to the Bahamas. Oh, okay. This is such a pretty, uh, a beautiful shaker box. And the alphabet is by Jesse and me. That B mine is by Heart and Hand. Look how just beautiful these items are. Love is in the air. By City Cottage. I'm not going to go go through these that much because it's sort of late to be stitching for Valentine's Day because it's Monday. But I figured I'd show you these beautiful models because they're. I didn't get a chance to come over here and really uh, go through them. So let's see what else we got. I'm going to make this a brief video because there's people here and I don't want to get in their way. There's a, a St. Patty's Day display here. Um, somebody took the, the charts and put them in the back, so I'll just show you what I have here. This is so cute. Look at that. This is... I forgot who this is by. Who is this by? That's by Brenda Gervais, isn't Brenda it? Brenda Gervais, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cute? You did this one, didn't you? Uh, actually, Kathy did that. Kathy did? This is a little heart and hand. St. Patty's Day is an interesting holiday. It's sort of a, an Irish thing that's become very American. <laughs> this is by White Willow. I just love these interesting designs by White Willow. This is Cross-Eyed Cricket. Check out the little shamrock. Isn't that cute? And we've got a bunch of charts. Like I said, somebody somebody took these, but there's a ton of charts here. I mean, I, she has a huge box of them. And the huge box, I, I'm not going to go through, but if there is something you're looking for, uh, I would bet you that Karen has it. <laughs> Unless it's brand new and it, she hasn't gotten it yet. But there, she has the most... Uh, St. Patrick's Day designs that I've ever seen a shop have, so. But again, it's fairly minor. Um, spring is upon us, so soon we'll be having a, a spring, a spring fling here. I do want to show you this chart by Samplers Not Forgotten that somebody stitched here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, Christmas tree? That came out really nice. That came out great. Oh, goodness gracious. Wow. 
I love seeing new shop models. Uh, Christmas will be upon us. I stitch Christmas in July. I start cr stitching Christmas in July. That's all done in DOC, except for the letters. So, okay. let's, uh, let's look at these beautiful models. Karen, do you want to show us these models? I think that we should have the design. Or, if she doesn't mind. Jean, would you talk about your models and, and tell people about, and especially about this one, which we might be having a class on? Yeah. Um, that one's in my suitcase right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Jean Farish, if you guys don't know. Um, very, very awesome. long time in the stitching community. Yeah, since 1981. Uh, I, uh, I have some Jean Farish charts at home. In fact, I went to your, uh, your class you had here a few years back yeah. and tried to learn the white work. Um, yeah, I still haven't really learned that, <laughs> but I haven't sat down and done it. I think that was, was that the Melbourne sampler? Uh, you have it on the table here. I saw it. There was a, there was a little white work thing, but you did a class on it and it was actually great. I mean, it was, it was, and one of the, I believe one of these samplers is, uh, is on there. Would you like to show us what you brought? That would be great. This is, this is called Grace's Words. And this is combining cro traditional cross stitch with stump work. Stump, what exactly is stump work? Stump work is raised embroidery. Oh, okay. And um, so, like the the bench that the the bee skep is sitting on is uh, raised work. Oh, that's fabulous. As is the bee skep, and then and then the bees with their detached wings See, that are so, actually stitched. It's so interesting. It's got such. Uh, I love that beehive. So for anybody who's really into stump work, this this is clearly baby steps, but that's the idea is for it to be an introduction. Oh, gee, another thing to learn. <laughs> and then. Um, Okay. This is Janet Irving. Yeah, that's the one I have. Yeah, this I started it actually. This was the very first um, charted design that I published. Um, Janet Irving is the great, great, great grandmother of my children. That's even better. So um, the, an the original antiques always hung in my in-laws' home, and so when I started my business, I asked if I could chart it, and they, of course, said yes. So that's how this one came about. Do you have the original antique? Yes. So wow. Told, so. What an heirloom. Yeah. And so that will go down to my doors. And then these are, um, this, let's see, there's four of them all together. These are what I call the ampersand samplers, because they all have... The deer and the grapes. There's the hare in the basket. The bear and the and the moose. Um, these are just all about what the same they, What size. are they called again? I call them. Okay, this. Um, and now it's not on there. Okay, let me show you over here. Okay, so here, let me reach across the table here. So. Oh, okay, that one's. So this little doodad. You said there's four of them, right? Yeah. So this little doodad is actually an ampersand. A lot of people use it all the time, but they don't know what it's called. Sure. And so I, that's why I just call them the ampersand samplers because they're really neat. I love the buffalo. <laughs> that is yeah. so cool. This this is a fun piece. And then um, this one has a cruise connotation on it. Uh, I did that one for the Alaska cruise a couple of years ago. Um, oh, cruising and cross stitch. Yeah, they go together absolutely. for sure. Yeah. Oops. Um, you know what? That's, but it's the got chart, a. Yeah. yeah. But the chart um, where it has the cruise connotation instead it says the word Alaska. Uh, this was on Ovation of the Seas. Um, yeah. I will tell you that our cruise we took, our cruise tour to Alaska, was the best trip. We, the best cruise I've ever taken. Like, yeah, that's what everybody says it. about Alaska. Yeah. We, we had a great time. And so when we do the stitching cruises, um, at the sea days, we have classes uh, in the conference center. Is that what you're doing tomorrow? Is it, a, is it an actual stitching class cruise? Pardon me? Tomorrow, the cruise you're going on? No, is it? this no. was purely a vacation. Purely I, I've vacation. got friends going with me, but and we all, almost all of us stitch. You stitch or play bridge or read or knit or whatever. Ever, but, um, no. It's a Caribbean cruise, right? No, no. Caribbean? You're going to the Caribbean? Yes. It's hard with these masks. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Because everything sounds mumbled. Right. What are these other, what is that other one over there you have? So this, um, that caught my eye. Yeah, that's the same. 
Um, here. Um, but Let's that see. Is, um, Jane Hattersley. Here, I'll, I'll yeah. hold it up for you. Yeah, what happens when they're down like this is you get a lot of uh, glare. Yeah. This is, um, I use art glass. And so if you hold it just right, you can't even see it. Um, Jane Hattersley was 10 when she stitched this. I own the antique of this one as well, although it's not a family piece. And um, I just recently did a thing on floss tube where I took the original apart so I could s to reframe it. And that allowed me to see the back and how different the colors were. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. That's beautiful. That, that's truly beautiful. And then this one um, is also one that um, the... The Stitcher's uh, Escapes Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's what I call my business for, for cruising. And where, where uh, this was a this, serenade of the seas. Oh, yeah. it was a, um, a New England kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah. We've sailed out of Boston and went to all these wonderful mm. places in New England and this coming, not this coming fall, fall of 2023, we're once again sailing from Boston going all the way down the St. Lawrence Seaway to Quebec City, which I've never been to before, so that's going to be fun. St. Lawrence Seaway, that's like the Thousand Islands, isn't it? I believe so. I, I grew up in upstate New York, so yeah. it's, I've, uh, I've actually been there. Yeah. I would uh, I would love to go on a stitches cruise. I don't know. My husband oh. might have a, a nervous breakdown if I did that, but uh, he uh, he still calls it knitting. <laughs> well, okay, we, we had a lot of husbands come around cruise. I'd say about twenty five percent of the women that are there to take classes, their husbands are also um, on the cruise, and and they love it. They end up hanging out. These pieces are actually hanging um, in the front, the cash register. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go show them. Yeah. These have that white work in them, right? Right. And that one, when you make the purchase of this kit, you also get uh, access to the videos, the video tutorials. When you say kit, which um, what come? Well, I should say kit. Chart pack. Oh, chart pack. Okay. When you buy the chart, you're also getting access to the video tutorials. Oh, okay. And the video tutorials are on what platform, or are they are they on a platform, or are they just standalone they're, they're, they're actually, videos? Actually, it's, it's it's on YouTube, but you have to have the code. They're not out there for yes. public viewing. Oh, I didn't know that YouTube even, even had that. But that's great. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that you get that. Yeah. Especially so. this, this uh, the white work is hard. I, it, it, I'm not going to say it's hard. It just takes, you have to, like anything else, you, you have to just it's do a, it. It's a different technique, and it has its own little special quirks, for lack of a better word. Um, and once you master them, then you can, you can do them all. I think part of it is learning to read the diagram. David. Um, and, and playing around with the tension. The tension was the hardest thing for me, yeah. was not pulling too hard, and I was afraid to pull, and uh, I still have, I, I don't remember what it is, but I still have your, because you, you kitted it up and brought it to the retreat and, uh, and taught it. And I started it. I have it about a third finished. Yeah, that's it's the one where, where we took the threads out. Yeah. yeah that's drawn thread. And yes, that, I think that was the Melbourne sampler. Very beautiful. So it's great that you're that you're here. I look forward to sitting at this table. Um, this is like the old days where we used to sit at the table. This yep. table every weekend would be absolute. Has been, I mean, before COVID was packed. Yes. And I mean, sometimes she pulled out a second table to sit here and. Um, it, it just was a. That's why I always tell people it's it's really important to buy things from these, from brick and mortar stores because that's where you get these kind of get-togethers and and so well, and forth. You're, you're building a community, and like I say, it's it's yeah, it nice is. to have people in your life that kind of get what you do. And uh, don't call it knitting. <laughs> <laughs> don't call it knitting. Well, thank you, Jean, for your uh, for your little things. I appreciate it. So that's uh, Jean Farish, and uh, I can't believe I'm so excited to see these to see these samplers stitched. Did you stitch them all yourself, by the way? This one uh, was stitched by Kelly Freeman, who's wandering on the oh. shop somewhere. Okay. Uh, she's the one who I started a uh, Facebook group called Stitching Road Trip, and she now is the administrator of that. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm on. I'm definitely on that group.
One of my good cruising friends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, it's nice to have cruising friends. It yeah. really yeah. is. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to go around the store and see if anything catches my mind. Hello. My mind, my eye. It's so nice to meet you. And it's, uh, like I said, this is going to be a really short one because uh, there's too many people here and uh, too much stuff going on. Um, just to let you know, these just came out. These are the Bright Needle designs. I have some, I have actually have this one original. And these are the, these are Bright Needle designs. They're absolutely beautiful and they're being, they're now um, being produced again. I even like the way that they presented these. So I did want to show you these that she has. And I think that's it for today. Well, thank you for joining me for this uh, this short video, this brief video, and uh, we'll see you soon. That's fine. Oh, we're back because I had to show you this. Mary stitched this, and I had mistakenly thought it was new, so I posted it on the page as new. And it, it's not new, but it is new to me, and it's fabulous. Look at this thing. It's an entire year's worth of gorgeous stitching. Mary, say hello. 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 Hey. And it's fun to stitch. <laughs> and it's fun. It is a fun. All right, now we really say goodbye. Bye.